I'm the bad boy Joey Janela, and I want you to subscribe to SME Wrestling. They're on the road to 1K. Yeah, you heard the bad boy Joey Janela. Subscribe. Road to 1K, boys. Hello everyone, I'm Kay McDonald, the only commentator for this company, and welcome back to SME Wrestling YouTube floor, and today it's the show after Velocity, the dream match pay-per-view. And gotta say, what a Velocity that was. We had a, some epic matches, epic kicking off the match with uh, Alistair vs. Uh, Jay, who was passing off the torch here, an excellent match. We unfortunately had Lil Flash beating down his father, Dad Zian, becoming a new Intercontinental Champion. We have Cole Young beating Chris Jericho, setting him on fire in that Inferno match. And we have Jacksepticeye vs. Vanos, so that was also pretty good, but then Vanos refused to shake the hand of Jacksepticeye. And uh, pretty much also today's match is going to be Malcolm Black in action, because House, the House of Black has defeated the Oscast, so that means Malcolm Black will get his rematch for the SME Championship against Lewis. And uh, also the main event between Shadow and Too Many Raptors once in a lifetime. That was a fucking epic match until the ending of the pay view. The end of the pay view where we fought with the heel police. Somebody's attacking the faces. But then it revealed to be Joe Anthony. The man who betrayed this company for the scam bots. And now he's in the ring. And what the fuck does Joe Anthony have to say right here? You know, I, I never thought I'd be here right now talking to all of these people here. Talking to all these marks of the fans of SME Wrestling. You might be wondering, Joe, why did you decide to come back as a heel police? And why did you arrest some heels here? Was well, because I want to be the top heel in the company, and I want to be the top guy in the company as well. But, like I said before, when I left this damn place, I was not getting what I deserved here. I was not getting the right opportunities here, and I was getting pushed back here in this company. And also, you all might thought you'd never see me again. You all thought you'd not see Joe freaking Anthony back here again. Well, look at me now. I'm here back in this hellhole. Why am I in this hellhole? Why do I have to be in this hellhole? Why does a wrestler's life in SME wrestling have to be a hellhole? And you guys are already, oh, but you have to buy a big briefcase. That means you can cash it in on the SME championship so you can grab the big gold. <laughs> yeah, you know what's gonna happen? Bad, terrible booking for the goddamn GM Shadow. You know, I shouldn't get deserved to be beaten down and deserve to be getting buried by new talents out there who think they're better than me. Not only that, not only new talent, but old part-timers here. When I lost to the Undertaker, I just knew that was the downfall. That was the breaking point. I had no choice but to get out of here. But I had a plan. I disguised myself as a heel police to get rid of any pathetic person here who thinks they are the top guy here, thinks they can be the top nasty boy. But no, I had to get rid of them so I can be the new top guy here, the new top nasty boy. So now, I'm here, Mr. Money in the Bank, here waiting until I get the opportunity that I deserve. So, please, just give me the right call this time. Give me the right booking decisions. Give me the right opportunities instead of this bullshit here. This is not the... But finally, someone shutting him up. The general manager, Sean Hedgehog, got an amazing match against Raptors, unfortunately he lost. But you show respect until Joe Anthony fucking ruined it. Joe Anthony! Didn't I fire your ass as long as with the other scam bots after you betrayed the company and decided to side with them? What makes you think you can come back here and get the best push you deserve? Yo, you need to earn your shit. Look, you're Mr. Money in the Bank, and how did you disguise yourself as a heel police? I have no idea what the fuck you were, and I knew you were dodgy. I knew that heel police was dodgy until I realized it was you. After the curb stop, I just knew the motherfucker's back. So, Joe Anthony, 
Why do you think you should get the best opportunity you ever get? Listen, these people love me here. They love my character. They love my matches. They love my charisma. And you are not giving it to them. You're not giving the right opportunity. You're Mr. Money in the Bank, though. Yeah? But watch. I'm going to cash it in and I lose the belt because of you. Yeah? You're going to make me lose that cash and match. So I should get that big opportunity. Okay. You know what? How about I give you your first match back here? Technically, I was still around. Nah. That was the heel police. You're Joe Anthony now. Time for your first match back, and I'll make it back at Havoc. Well, should Jarvis get a match at Havoc? Oh, sweet, I'm going up against you, huh? Or am I finally cashing in my, my, my briefcase to cash in on Lewis? Or maybe Malachi Black? Or maybe make a, make a fucking triple threat match at Havoc? No, 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 no. You'll be facing someone to really prove to me that you're ready for this big opportunity. And I have chosen your opponent for you. So, Joe... Please welcome your opponent for Havoc. What the fuck? The lights went out. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Jarafi's in trouble here. Oh god, the marionette! The marionette! Oh god, Jarafi's first challenge back here is not gonna be an easy one. Where the hell is he? This is a joke. What the fuck? Oh shit, about to go for the string free, but Jarafi's escaping. He escapes. You got lucky there, but you won't be lucky at Havoc. Oh god, that's a first, that'll be, uh, that's a first match official for Havoc, Joe Anthony versus the marionette here, Joe Anthony, this is gonna be a hard task for you. Yeah, can't wait for that company to try to get what he deserves. Let's get today's match started. Oh, good luck with the marionette, Joe Anthony, it's gonna be hell for you, buddy! Let's get this match for Malcolm Black on Awakening and his opponent is going to be Chad Todd. He's, uh, I'm pretty sure Chad Todd has faced Malcolm Black before and it did go well for him. Yeah, Malcolm Black, you know, made kind of made his, like, you know, his character debut and he went, went up against Chad Tyler. And uh, here, we go, here we go again, We're about to recreate this matchup here and uh, it's probably going to go as well as you expect it. Yeah, I think it's Chad, you all shit. There he is, the first, the number one contender for the SMB Championship, Malachi Black. Oh boy, I bet Lewis is probably shitting his pants right now. They has to fight Malachi Black again, but we don't know when though, because you know it is, it is true that Malachi Black is going to be given SMB Wrestling SMB Championship title opportunity here, but we have no idea when. I'm pretty sure after the match, Malachi Black makes his announcement of when the match is going to happen here. So pretty much he's going to beat down Chad Tyler and then say when him and Lewis are going to fight each other again here. Because, you know, that, that match has to happen. We have to have a real proper winner in that match. Because last time they faced our wreckage and in a double count out. But now that now again, the rematch, we're hoping that this ends with a proper winner here. Oh, but I'm not like getting ready to destroy Chad. And we get started right now. Alright, match away for Malachi Black. Malachi Black in action here. Oh, Chad Tyler already for backbreaker of the Malachi Black right there. Chad Tyler trying to get a girl strike. He knows what to expect this time from Malachi Black. Oh, shit. There you go, but he gets called for a vintage neckbreaker right there. Chad has 
face Malcolm like before, so I think he uh, knows what to do this time here. There he goes, fight, try to escape from Malcolm Black, make sure it doesn't get any moves. Oh, shit. The counter right there, dropped hold by Malcolm Black. Oh, he's always going to drop a knee, isn't he? Yep. Oh, shit. On oh, the stern, almost to the neck of Chad Tyler right there. And there's Malcolm Black just stopping away at Chad Tyler here. Oh, for his call for the end straight away, but oh, the broach is punting knee strike right there. Oh, Chad Tyler, he's just trying to escape from Malcolm Black. That's what I have to do, just escape from Malcolm Black. Oh, there's a big clothesline right there by Chad Tyler. Managed to get down Malcolm Black and his going for Irish Whip into the corner here. And oh, big close into the corner and making Malcolm Black go down, stop to the face. Oh, sh oh shit, big knee strike right there. Just like clipping down Chad Tyler right there. That knee strike just caught him right there. And it's calling for a dragon screw onto Chad Tyler here. And I'm gonna kick to the back again. Now this Malcolm Black just slowly picking up Chad. Oh, cutter! Big cut. He's lucky that it was not the Dragon Slayer right there. And I'm Malcolm Black just slowly dragging away Chad. Going for the cover here onto Chad Tyler. But Malcolm Black knows that is not enough. He doesn't want to end with just a cutter. And he's just sitting down, just taunting, doing a sit down taunt. Gets Chad's back up here. He's calling for a neck breaker onto Malachi right there. Yeah, he's got, he got the advantage right there. Just strike while Malachi Black is sitting down. Now this Chad Tyler just slowly just drag away Malachi. And it's trying to pick up all his... Boom! Hits his knee strike onto Malachi right there. But I, think, I don't think that those knee strikes of Chad are more devastating than Malachi's knee strikes right there. And that Chad Tyler just slam down Malachi. Going for the cover right here. Oh, only a one count though. Just a little one count right there. And it's trying to pick up Malachi. Black oh no, Malachi with the counter. Big old elbow strike to the forehead right there. The stern. Oh, cutter again, but Chad Tyler was ready that time. He was ready that time. But no, Malachi like called for another light suplex right there. Here's another light suplex. Oh no. Oh, this could be the beginning of the end of Chad Tyler right here. Malachi Black called for a big knee. And he gets him. Strike him right in the face. Big knee. And Malachi was just staring at his work. He's going for a cover on the Chad Tyler here. I think the beauty can do it right here. Oh no, Malachi's not done. We all know what Malachi's calling for next. Is he calling for the Dragon Slayer or the end? And Chad Tyler, do not get up. Do not get up. You have no idea what's fucking coming here. There's another like suplex again by Malachi. You have no idea what's coming, Chad. Just don't get up. Just don't get up. You have no idea what's coming, Chad. Just, I, my advice, don't get up. Oh, shit. This is not a good kick. Oh, shit. Chad Tyler managed to fight back against Malachi. Oh, no. Before the comeback of Chad Tyler right here. But no. Oh, no. Ref, get out of the way. Fucking hell, referee. Dumbass ref. And that was Malachi Black. Is his form strike onto Chad. Oh, it's come for another one. Oh, no. It's not called for it. Oh, big knee instead. It's come for that deadlift German here. On the chat, Tyler, he's just torturing Chad Tyler, just making a mess, sending a message to Lewis right there. Split, sending a big one. Oh, no. There we go. All right, this is the end here. This is the game over point for Chad right here. The end. There's the end. On to Chad Tyler. Chad Tyler is out like a light. And Malcolm Black over the card to end off this match right here. And that is it. Malcolm Black getting the win, just sending that message to Lewis here that Malcolm Black is ready for that rematch against Lewis and he's coming for that SME championship he's want, he's wanting that SME championship back here yeah Lewis he has no idea what to do whether Lewis likes it or not he's going to face Malcolm Black again in a rematch and he better not carry out this I better not skip out of the ring and you know, get himself carried out to retain the championship nah we need to have a proper winner here and like we need we do not want matches ending by a shitty counter of course so Lewis better man up and fight Malachi Black soon enough. We have no idea when that match is going to happen. But I'm pretty sure Malachi Black is going to announce it after you know, we've seen these replays. After he's celebrating the na nasty big win right there. Yeah, he's just an uh, absolute dominant. Chad Tyler did try to get fight back right there. But uh, in the end, it's just Malachi Black who got the end. And as soon as he hits the end onto Chad, it was game over. Like, he could not kick out of that. Yeah, Malcolm Black getting that win right there on the Chad Tyler. Yeah, Lewis, you better be ready for this rematch against Malcolm Black. You better be on your A game when that happens. When Malcolm Black is grabbing the microphone, what's Malcolm Black going to say right here? Members of the House of Black, please rock.
at velocity, the house of black gone the victory against the Yolks cast. Therefore, I will be getting my second chance to grab back the SMB championship and bring it back to the house. So, Lewis, there is no more hiding from me anymore. You have no choice but to face me again for the SMB championship. Lewis, I'm not going to waste any time and make the match official. At Havoc, it will be me versus you in a rematch for the SME Championship. But there will be no countouts. So therefore, there will be no escaping from me. You can try and make you get yourself counted out, but you won't be. I made the stipulation where there'll be no cannots in this match. So you have no choice but to fight me. Oh, but here comes the SP champion. Probably gonna be shooting himself. I'm predicting right now he's gonna be shooting himself. He's gonna be shooting himself. Yep, I called that he's shooting himself. He just realized that he won't be escaping from Malachi Black and Havoc because there'll be no count outs in that match. Malachi Black, you can't be serious, right? You're making this just no count outs, huh? Well, why not we make it no disqualification as well? So you're saying we should have an extreme rules match? Uh, you know what? Maybe, yes, fuck it. At Havoc, we're going to have an extreme rules match for my baby right here. I'm going to give a venture after you done to Simon. It was Joe McManus, technically. Well, Joe McManus, I'm going to pay for what you did to Duncan here. You black misted my friend Duncan, so now you're going to pay. Oh, speaking of him, I have a little surprise for you, Lewis. What? The lights went out again. God, there's something wrong with the fucking power here. Like, there's something wrong with this fucking light object. Oh, God. It's Duncan right there, but look at his eyes. It's all black. I think that's because of the, the cause and the effect of the black mist. No. No. You bastard. Duncan. Duncan, step out. It's me, Lewis. Step out of it, Duncan. Come on. Don't be like this. God, Duncan's not doing anything. He's not answering Lewis. Come on, Duncan, snap out of it! Ah, Doll the end! Onto Lewis right there. My god, Duncan just sh pushed Lewis into Malachi Black. Oh my god, does that mean Duncan is now with the House of Black after he got hit with the Black Mist? This is not good. Lewis is down to just himself. Don't know about Simon. Might be busy with Jack Mess, but still, Lewis is by himself and Duncan. Uh, John Duncan's now with the House of Black. That's the end of this episode of YouTube, bro. We'll see you guys next time.